Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz and today we're going to be looking at types of tanks, knowing that role and playing that type of tank. Now I harp on in lots of my videos about people not understanding the attributes given to each and every type of tank, which means they don't fully understand the role that that tank should be playing. What we're going to do, we're going to look at the main four types of tank. In theory, there are actually eight different types of tank in Blitz, but the four main ones are light tanks, medium tanks, heavy tanks, and tank destroyers. In amongst that, the other four are sort of misnomers. You've got a light medium type tank, you've got a heavy um type tank, you've got super heavies, and then you've got this medium stroke heavy type TD, such as the T30, for example. But we're gonna look at the main one. So we're gonna start off with light tanks. Light tanks are notorious in Blitz for players not understanding their role. The thing about light tanks is this, they have zero armor guys. That's why they're fast in mobile. So they are fast in mobile. You need to understand that they're fast in mobile in Nippy for a reason. They have no armor for a reason and they generally have a very good gun with a decent reload time and they don't ch normally churn out shed loads of damage but they also have amazing camouflage profiles which means that you have almost the same camo profile whilst moving that you do when stationary there is a reason for that guys you need to know that and what you can see I've done here, I've gone, I've spotted what I can spot, taken a shot and then got out of there. And this is what you need to understand with light tanks. Light tanks are not meant to be brawling full on at the front line, guys. But at the same time, you're not meant to be yolloing over the top and getting smacked. Spot the tanks. If you can take a shot, take the shot and then get out of dodge. I know for a fact I've got louvers and other heavies here. My job in this tank is to spot up the enemy and let the heavy tanks do their job, which is wipe them out. Or even the medium tanks, or even the TDs. That's my role. And if you notice in this game, I am absolutely not stationary. I am constantly mobile. Again, I'm looking at the minimap. There's a louver behind me. I need to track this tank and let the louver finish up. This is how you should be looking to play light tanks, guys. Their role is to basically be a pain in the ass and let the heavies, the mediums and the TDs tidy up. Why see a lot of people playing light tanks? They go yellowing over the top and then they get into a brawl. You're going to lose a brawl nine times out of ten. You don't have the DPM and you don't have the armor, guys. To be perfectly honest with you, nine times out of ten. You are going to get wasted more than anything. As you can see here, I've already done 2,341 damage and I haven't actually stayed still. I've been constantly on the move all over the map, tearing up the battlefield, trying to spot tanks, trying to track tanks, trying to put shots in, trying to let my bigger tanks mop up. And this is what you should be doing. Use the mobility that you're given. It's there for a reason. Don't be in a mad rush to YOLO everywhere and use your light tank incorrectly. Now, I rammed him there to try and track him, by the way, which is a neat little tactic. If you ram tanks, the chances are you're going to track them. I also know that my mobility is going to get me round this tank before his turret turns to smack me. This is what you should be doing. So remember, guys, in light tanks, you are fast in mobile for a reason. You have light armor and a good gun for a reason. Spot, if you can take a shot, take it, then get out of there. Let the heavies and the mediums mop up the other tanks. That's their job, not your job. Your job is to basically assist in spotting, getting those targets lighted up. And if you can get shots in, get shots in and use that mobility to run around like a crazy fool. Next, we have medium tanks. Now, medium tanks, a lot of people get confused. They're not a heavy and they're not a light. 
they they look like a heavy but they've also got a bit of mobility like a light but don't let that fool you medium tanks are second line support tanks they generally have decent reloads a bit of mobility and a bit of armor that doesn't mean to say that these tanks are great for doing what a light tank does. I mean, these tanks will not roll around the battlefield like demented fools, nine times out of ten. There are some exceptions to that rule, like the Leo, which is an incredibly fast tank. But generally, the idea of a medium tank is second line support. And that's exactly what I'm going to do here. I am keeping these tanks spotted. I know I have a TD overlooking. There are two of them. You see them on the minimap. So if I can keep these tanks spotted, then the TD should be able to do their job. And this is pretty much how you should be looking to play a medium. You are in support. You, you play it similar to a light, but not in the same vein. If you start playing this like a light tank, you're going to come on stuck. You just don't have that mobility, as I say, except for the likes of the Leo 1, which is a very fast tank. This tank is a medium and it's not so fast. It has decentish armor. It's got a good reload and, you know, it's a pretty accurate gun. It's a support tank, though. This is not meant to be frontline heavy. It's not meant to be up close and personal. You are meant to be supporting and mopping up. That's what you're meant to do in a medium tank. You go brawling in this thing and you're gonna come unstuck. You go trying to play it like a light or a heavy, you're gonna come unstuck. You sit at the back and try and be a TD camping, then you're totally ineffective. You need to understand these parameters. You need to know why the tanks are given the things that they're given. Get on to things like Blitzhanger, and it will tell you what these tanks are good at at the very end. It tells you, is it a good sniper? Is it a peekaboom? Is it, you know, a brawler? And you will discover, you will understand the role that you should be playing. Now, admittedly, I'm sort of frontlining this a bit more. The reason being, there's only two tanks left. We've got five tanks, they've got two. I know there's a T-71 up here. I know he's only on, you know, a third of his health. I know I can wipe him out because my reload is fast enough in his reload whilst he's an auto loader, he's not going to be able to take me out. I know that. So I was able to push him there. There's only one tank left now, it's a TD, and I know he's out of position. And I know I should be able to give him a hard time. Okay, that was a bad shot. But if you can see here, all I'm doing is supporting. I'm not brawling with him, I'm not going down there to brawl him. There's no point in me doing that. Now, however, he's, a, he's, you know, he's out of place, he's out of position, he's isolated. Maybe I can get some shots in. He's focused on the Y5. That allows me to get shots in. There comes the flat panzer to take him out. We do 1,186 damage. We bounce 585. We did our job. That's what you should be looking to do in a medium, guys. Next, we move on to the heavies. And uh, this is Nikolaj of PZDK rolling out on the IS-4. This is the Russian Tier X Heavy on the EU server. Heavy tanks are different beasts. These tanks are bullies. They are meant to be frontline. They are meant to be bullies. They have generally got very good armor, a long reload, and a lot of damage output. This is where you then step up a gear. As a heavy, yeah, okay, you can spot because you should be on the front line to an extent. What you should be doing in a heavy is utilizing your hit points to bully the other team that then allows the mediums the tds and the lights to put shots in whilst they're brawling and bullying with you the likes of the is4 is a massive bully i mean the is4 has incredible armor it has a long reload it has an okay gun but it the penetration does suck on occasion 
but it's a brawler it's a bully it's a nasty mean thing and if you go in a hall down position like this you're pretty difficult to pen and as you can see here Nicolaj is literally on the front line he is sur they're surrounded by tanks there's one two three four tanks on the red team five tanks i think no four tanks on the red five tanks yes on the red team he is surrounded he is frontlining this tank all the way and that is what you should be looking to do in these type of heavies you can't do it in all the heavies however i mean well you should be able to because that's what they are they're bullies and look look at his hit points his hit points are f he's still on full hp and he is just bullying the heck out of these tanks it's three on three now don't get me wrong i mean he's a good player and this is a good game but this is how you play a heavy guys you play a heavy to bully the other team same as the c100 look the e100 he's he's meant to be bullying and he's trying to bully but unfortunately his team is collapsing around him which is not his fault he's doing his role the bat chat isn't really doing his role but he is i mean he's playing well as well but the team's just collapsed and this is allowed nicolaj to go in there and just be a complete bully lost a bit of hit points but he knows that the e100 is a two shot he to the e100 is effectively a three to four shot i mean the e100 has got to do massive high rolls three times to get this is4 out of the game the is4 however only needs to hit the e100 twice this is brawling one-on-one -on -one now and this is all about out dpming unfortunately as i said the is4 does on occasion have problems with penning as you can see he's now probably a one and a half shot to the e100 and the e100 is still a two shot he's loading the heat takes 300 out of the e100 he's still bullying uh, he, but he's backing away he's playing the tank properly he understands how you should be using this tank he understands the attributes of this tank oh another low roll because he's using you know he, he tried to track him tried to get that lower plate they're now the e100 now realistically is a one shot the is4 is if he gets a high roll he's also a one shot the e100 has a much longer relay oh it's not a one shot he, he gets a good roll with the heat but the heat doesn't dish out as much damage as the ap unfortunately this is a fantastic game you know 5230 odd damage i mean this is great stuff this is how you should be looking to play a heavy guys it's it's how you should be doing it you should be on the front line brawling your heart out picking your shots and doing what has just been done here 5377 damage 3600 bounces he was on the front line from the word go fantastic mastery great game that is how you play a heavy love that game last up we have tank destroyers probably the most misunderstood after the light tank tank destroyers wow so tank destroyers generally have zero armor they are paper thin but they do have big long derpy guns that generally take a long time to load there are some exceptions to that rule obviously there are some tank destroyers with good armor but the majority don't have great armor they have limited mobility some of them are fixed casemates some of them like the waffle tractor here don't have a fixed casemate but the waffle tractor is paper thin and anybody who's played this game will know that a good he roll on a waffle tractor will generally wipe you out so what is the role of a tank destroyer the role of a tank destroyer in this game is that of pure support that i mean look at that 1052 like i said good he roll into a waffle tractor will hurt it the TD in Blitz is a support tank. You realistically should not be frontlining any TD. I don't give a toss what you think. I don't care if it's the, got the best armor of all TDs. TDs in Blitz should not be frontlined. They load 
far too slowly. What you therefore need to do is get in a position whereby once your lights and your mediums have spotted them up, you are there to plow in that derp. And this is exactly what Yoda 62 is doing. Yoda 62 is in a great spot here. Majority of the red team and the enemy team is spotted. They're over there. He is able to put in shots. He's already done 2,391. He is in a great, great position. He's waiting for them to protrude, and there you go. Well, as soon as they they show up, he's able to put shots in. A lot of people would argue, ah, oh, but he's camping. He's a TD, guys. He's meant to be camping. He is not effective up close and personal because he has zero armor. He has limited mobility, and he has an incredibly long reload. He is there to take away the hit points from the other team and he's meant to be taking a lot of hit points from the enemy team he's not there to whittle them down slowly slowly he is there to take a shed load of hit points in one go and this is what yoda 62 is doing he is biding his time he is playing the td game and when a tank produces, he, I mean, he's rolling between 600 and 1,000 almost every shot. He's now to 4,340 damage. He is full HP. He's now taking his first kill. 4,471 damage. Guys, this is how you play derpy TDs. He is camping. Yes, I totally agree. But that's the guy, that's the idea of a TD. The idea of a TD is exactly this. Get those high rolls in. Get in a position of safety, but it's got to be a position whereby you've got shots. There's no point you sitting at the back where you can't shoot anything. That is no use to anybody. You need to be in a position whereby you can get shots in. It's now four against three. Yoda 62 is going to have to make a move. He's making a move on the object. The object 704 is gone. Kill number two. He's now done over 5,300 damage. He's okay. He's taken a hit there, but he knows that he's going to load faster than the IS-6. If he gets a good roll, he can whittle him down to next to nothing. He did get a good roll. Unfortunately, he left him alive, but that's not a problem. He's got mobility that allows him to relocate. Know your tank, guys. Know what it's meant to do. There goes the IS-6. That was an HE roll. It's now two on two. Yoda 62 is almost on full HP. If you notice there, the other tank, which is also which is also on full HP. It's it's okay. It's it's what is it? It's a medium, I believe, or is it a heavy? No, it's a medium. So the medium should now be pushing on this VK, helping Yoda out. He's got to do this. But he's not. So this means that Yoda's going to load HE again for the kill. He gets the kill. Kill number four. He's now done 6,000. Sorry. Yeah, 6,771 damage. There is now only one tank left. This is a fantastic way to play TDs. There comes the tank. Oh, he gets smacked by a HE roll from the E75. That really hurt him, but not as much as the E75 would have liked. Um, he now gets to use his ability. The E75 is a slow lumbering heavy. It's not as slow as many think, but it is a slow lumbering heavy. He's now going to be able to get behind him. Unfortunately, as you can see, I mean, the, I think his medium is AFK, actually. He's going to load it up. Bang, boom, there you go. Five kills, 7,266 damage. That is how you should be playing a TD, guys. You should be looking for those opportunities to smack tanks when they can. So like I said, know your tank, know the type of tank, and know the role you're meant to be playing. Once you know that, trust me, the game will be far easier, and you'll get a lot more enjoyment out of it. Anyway, I'd like to thank Yoda62 of the Clan X from the North American server, and Nicolaj from the Clan PZDK on the EU server um, for kindly sharing their replays. That has been my brief introduction to types of tanks, 
Know your tank and know the role they should play. Hype in Fujit, by all means, comment and all the other stuff below. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. It's a nice thing to do. And if you really want to support the channel, you can also press the Patreon button. That's also a nice thing to do too. If you've got any decent replays, send them to me, fujitsblitz at gmail.com. Um, or you can join my Discord server and upload them there. You can also follow me on Discord, Twitter, sorry, <laughs> on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram if you really wish. And until the next time, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because, you know, that's what it's all about, having fun and being happy.